Patriots Daily is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. What's going on, everyone? It's Taylor Kyles here for CLNS Media. Patriots rookie corner Christian Gonzalez has been named Defensive Rookie of the Month after holding opposing quarterbacks to a 68 pass rating, despite being top 10 in targets among cornerbacks and facing a steady diet of elite receivers, including A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddell, and Garrett Wilson. Now, I'm going to break down some of my favorite plays from this season that show just how talented and poised Gonzalez is, especially for such a young player who's only been in the league for one month. Now we're going to start off by taking a look at the Eagles game. Now this was Christian Gonzalez's professional debut and he spent the entire day, or at least all but three snaps, on the boundary. Now how is that significant? Well that's the short side of the field where you tend to see most one-on-one -on -one matchups because that's the back side where if there's three receivers to one side or even sometimes four, defenses will usually flood coverage to the other side where all the numbers are and then leave the person who's on the back side one-on-one. So defenses will usually put their best cornerback there to make sure that it doesn't create different mismatches. Now, different defenses do different things. The Jets, for example, have their cornerback stick to sides because they trust whoever's out there. But the Patriots showed a lot of trust in Christian Gonzalez, putting him in that role against two of the NFL's best receivers. So the first play we're going to look at is a third and three with less than a minute left in the third quarter of the game. Now, if this computer wants to work for me, there we go. All right. Now, Christian Gonzalez lines up in press technique against Devontae Smith, who's fast and shifty, but he's also a pretty physical cat. Now, Christian Gonzalez is in man coverage with Devontae Smith wanting a, running a whip route where he's going to fake a slant inside and then break back out. Now, Gonzalez, there was a lot of talk about his physicality and whether he was tough enough to be a true top tier NFL cornerback. Well, here you're going to see a really good example of that because Gonzalez is going to use his press technique to completely throw off this route. Now we're going to see here, quick motion from the back, Gonzalez, boom! Now we're going to go back, rewind this. Now what he does first is a little quick jam, all right? So what he's basically trying to say is if Devontae Smith is going to try to run an inside route, he's going to choke it off, slow it down, and be right in the receiver's hip. Now, instead, he's going to be – this is a pretty confident move. You don't usually see two-hand jams in the NFL very often because NFL wide receivers are very good at shedding them and making you look silly. But Christian Gonzalez trusts his athleticism. Boom! Gets Devontae Smith flying backwards, completely knocks off the route. You can see Jalen Hurd looking that way. All right? He wants to initially throw to Smith. But because Gonzalez gets such a good jam on him, it throws off the timing. You can see that Hurt is a little uncomfortable after that happens. Gonzalez also closes on the route anyway. Hurts doesn't have anywhere to go with the ball. Really, really good rep from Christian Gonzalez there. All right, next play. This is the first play of the fourth quarter, and the Eagles are going to try to take a kill shot towards the boy, Christian Gonzalez. Now, once again, he's going to be on the boundary side. So it's just him against A.J. Brown. But the Patriots are going to be in a three-deep zone with Jabril Peppers rotating down. Jabril Peppers is in the middle right now. And Marte Mapu rotating to the deep middle. Now, unlike last rep where it was just pure one-on-one -on -one coverage, it was Gonzalez in man coverage against Devontae Smith. Here, Gonzalez knows that he's going to have inside help from Marte Mapu if A.J. Brown tries to run anything deep. So what the Eagles are going to do is they're going to go play action to try to buy some time for a deep throw. And A.J. Brown is going to sell a post initially before breaking outside. And Jalen Hurts is going to throw to him in the end zone to try to get a quick score to get ahead of the Pats even further than they already were. Now we're going to see here. A.J. Brown. Eyes are inside. Usually if a cornerback was being undisciplined, just looking at the head, he might bite pretty hard on this. But you can see Gonzalez, it's kind of hard to tell because you can't totally see the color in his helmet, but his eyes are on the receiver's hips. That's something he does a very good job of. It's consistent with him. And he knows, once again, that Marte Mapu's inside. He's got help, so he doesn't have to overcommit to the post. So he stays outside. We see that. And then, oh, look at that. A.J. Brown is breaking right back outside. Gonzalez is still in position and does a great job becoming the receiver. You see there, he turns his head. Boom. 
Because now, hey, I'm in position, and good defenders know that if you're in position, if you're in the receiver's hip, that means that you can then take over and try to make a play on the ball. Running stride for stride, looking for it, tries to, ball's overthrown, he can't make any kind of play on it, but that's a fantastic effort from Christian Gonzalez. One more time, you know, respects it, kind of Closes on the route a little bit just in case he's got to make a play on a post, but he doesn't give away his leverage. A.J. Brown breaks back outside. Gonzalez is the receiver. Another really impressive play from the rookie. Now this one, two minutes left, fourth and six in the fourth quarter. This is a got to have it moment, and the Eagles decide they're going to try to test the rookie once again, with Devontae Smith, the Patriots desperately need the ball back down five points to try to get back in this game. So we're going to see Christian Gonzalez lined up once again against Devontae Smith. But on this play, we're going to see that he's a man-to-man coverage, but the Patriots are sending an all-out blitz. So because of this, this is outstanding situational awareness from Christian Gonzalez. He knows that because Jalen Hurts is going to have to throw the ball quickly to avoid pressure, and the Patriots had a really good understanding of the Eagles' protection schemes and how they would respond if they showed pressure. And they knew Jalen Hurts is going to try to throw this quickly. So Devontae Smith is ultimately running a slant route. Now, I'm sure that with film study, there was some part of Gonzalez that understood that this was probably going to be coming. So what he's going to do is he knows where the yard marker is. All right. He's one, two, three yards past the first down marker where Devontae Smith needs to go. So he's got plenty of space and knows that Devontae Smith, he's not going to run a double move. Like once he has his stem and makes the break, that's where the ball is probably going to go if it's thrown to Devontae Smith. So you're going to see Christian Gonzalez, patient, patient. He's squatting, playing catch technique where you're just waiting for the receiver to come to you and then you break. And you can see now that Devontae Smith is starting to get into his route, you can see Christian Gonzalez starting to get down so he can pounce as well. Gets right in the receiver's hip. You can see the hand right there. He uses his hand to get himself into position while still knowing where the receiver is. Gets underneath the route, undercuts it. Gets his hand free that was actually originally on Smith's hip and gets both hands out to try to intercept the ball. He doesn't quite do it, but this is a crazy impressive rep. Again, this is a God have it moment in the game where Gonzalez has to step up, patiently waits till the receiver makes a break, breaks with the receiver, perfect position, almost makes a play on the ball to steal it, gives the Patriots the ball back when they need it most. Snap into action this NFL season with FanDuel. America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. That's $200 in bonus bets, win or lose. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action. The app is so easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. So visit FanDuel.com slash Boston and kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Now, this play is going to be from the Dolphins. Now, originally in this game plan, Marcus Jones was shattering Tyreek Hill with safety help. Usually it's Jonathan Jones. He wasn't available in this game. And Christian Gonzalez was on an island against Jalen Waddell, which is no small feat. But Marcus Jones got hurt early on in the game. So Christian Gonzalez had to step up and be the guy taking on Tyreek Hill. And he did a phenomenal job. I, honestly, I didn't even think he needed safety help. And I think this play is a great example of why. Because this was one of the few examples. You see Christian Gonzalez against Tyree Kill at the top of the screen. And you see the deep safety right here. Now, most of the game, safety was going to shade towards the side where Tyree Kill was to make sure they didn't get the over the top because he popped off the week before against the Chargers. He put up like 200 receiving yards or something like that. It was crazy. Chargers had no answers for him. Patriots said, we're not going to give you your number one target. We're going to make you try to find something else. So the ball isn't going to be thrown to Tyreek Hill here. But like I said, I didn't know if Christian Gonzalez actually needed safety help. And this is a good example of why. He's man-to-man coverage. Tyreek Hill running a straight fade. Now, Tyreek Hill scored a touchdown the week before, running straight down the field, down the sideline, because 
the Charger, Chargers cornerbacks just couldn't cover him one-on-one -on -one consistently. But here, you're going to see Christian Gonzalez, no fear, tries to get a quick jam to slow the receiver's release, gets a nice little shove to the sideline to condense space, and he's just running with Tyreek Hill. Now, the ball is thrown elsewhere pretty quickly. Tyreek Hill sees that, so it's not like he's running downfield for very long. But you can see Gonzo has the long speed to run with a crazy fast guy like Hill who can reach top speed pretty much instantly. Another really impressive rep. And look, Jabril Peppers at no point is going outside of the hash to try to help, all right? This is all Gonzo and Tyreek Hill one-on-one. -on -one. Runs with them pretty easily. Good job there. Now, this is the play that you've all probably seen from Gonzalez in this Miami Dolphins game. It's going to be first and 10, fourth quarter, Patriots down by one score. They really needed some momentum to get back in this game. The defense did a pretty good job clamping down on Miami's passing attack. And you look at 17 points now, in hindsight, you know, at the point of the game, it looked like, you know, the Dolphins were having their way a little bit with that short motion they liked so much. I'll get into that in a bit. But... As we've seen in week one and week three, the Dolphins are capable of putting up monster points. This was relatively pretty good, but I digress. So, again, the Patriots need the ball back. And this is a pretty unique little wrinkle the Patriots use. And you see this from them some of the time when teams will give them <clears throat> condensed formations and they want to play some type of split safety look, usually cover two. So Tyree Kill, when he's in this alignment, you'll see this in any of the games Miami's played recently. He goes in that short wheel motion where he goes upfield, reaches full speed immediately. And the Patriots had trouble with this because, one, you have to protect deep against Tyreek Hill. So if he does this, you're going to be over the top. But it's tough to defend because he can break, you know, on a stop. He can break on an out. He can break in. It's really tough to defend. So what they tried to do was get a cloud defender, an underneath flat defender, to try to jam him. And you'll see that in this technique right here. With this technique for Jabril Peppers, tried to jam him and slow him down. And the Patriots kind of flip roles, as you'll see Christian Gonzalez is in a deep half, because Jabril Peppers isn't as fast as Christian Gonzalez, but he's really physical and he's great at getting jams on receivers and slowing them down. You see this a lot, especially when they go up against really good wide receivers, like Stephon Diggs, for example. There were a couple of times where he was in a cloud technique just so he could get a good push on Diggs. But here the idea is Gonzalez can get the help of the jam while still being able to protect deep using his outstanding world-class speed. But you're going to see here that when Hill is going to go, this isn't going to be one of the routes where he breaks underneath. He's just going to go straight up the field, fly, and try to get over the top. But Peppers doesn't actually get a jam. Now, that's supposed to help Gonzalez by slowing down his momentum and giving Gonzalez an easier way to protect over the top. So Peppers actually misses, and then you just got Gonzo one-on-one -on -one with Hill downfield. Now, initially, we know Tua Tagovailoa is so, so good with his eyes. He's initially, after the play fake, going to bring his eyes to the right. I'm not sure if he was faking this or if he was ever thinking of actually throwing to Waddle, but it looks like because of how quickly he brings his eyes back to Hill, this was intentionally he was trying to look off Gonzalez. And Gonzalez, it's pretty fair. He goes inside expecting the ball is going to be thrown at the middle of the field. But then Tua comes back outside and throws it outside the numbers. And look at that turn from Gonzalez. Able to look and find the ball over his shoulder while running full speed, locate, go up and get the pick. Now let's look at that. One more time. That's really impressive in the open field. We've seen Gonzalez in tight man-to-man -man coverage or press or even kind of giving some cushion and diving down on routes. And we also saw him being able to use his deep technique with someone coming at him into his leverage. But here, he's opened his hips to the inside of the field and he's trying to get back outside the numbers. Great coordination, extension, high points the ball. Beats Hill. Now, to be fair, this is underthrown pretty badly. This is something, you know, two is fantastic. He does a lot of things well, but sometimes these deep balls tend to hang in the air, as we see here. Great job by Gonzo capitalizing on it, getting the Patriots the ball back in a spot where they really desperately needed it. Go back. Love to see the separation. Everybody showing the rookie some love. Had to keep that in there. All right. 
Now, the last one we're going to look at. Against the Jets, this wasn't a rule for the entire game, but a lot of the game, Christian Gonzalez followed Garrett Wilson, who's really the true number one threat for the Jets' passing attack. Now, this play, it's fourth quarter, second and nine, at the Patriots' nine-yard line for the Jets. They're looking to score. They really need points here. Now, we see Christian Gonzalez lined up against Garrett Wilson. He's going to be in man-to-man coverage. And Garrett Wilson, like we saw from Devontae Smith earlier, is going to run a whip route, okay? He's going to try to sell the slant and then break back inside. But because of the poise and the patience and the mirroring ability of Christian Gonzalez, this route isn't going to go the way Garrett Wilson wants. We know Garrett Wilson, Offensive Rookie of the Year last year, very good route runner, outstanding at the top of routes. So you're going to see Wilson try to go inside and sell that slant. You see Christian Gonzalez is respecting and he's inside. But when Wilson breaks to try to get inside, look who's breaking right with him. Christian Gonzalez. Boom. He's breaking at the exact same time. You see both of them have their hips synced. This is like a Madden simulation. This is fantastic stuff from Christian Gonzalez. Now, Wilson does slip, but he still recovers pretty well to get back outside. It doesn't matter. Christian Gonzalez is all over this route. Great reaction, blue and athlete, and so poised. My favorite thing about Christian Gonzalez, other than the phenomenal athleticism, is the dude never, ever panics. He's seen it in all of these reps. He's so poised for a young player who's only been in the league for a month. And plays like this are why we saw Garrett, I'm sorry, why we saw Christian Gonzalez win defensive rookie of the month. Great stuff, Gonzo. Keep it up. Big game against CD Lamb. He's going to need another great performance. So once again, the poise, the athleticism, obviously, the discipline and the recovery ability, so many things to love about Christian Gonzalez's game. Only been in the league for a month and making great plays in big moments and still hasn't had an elite receiver put up 100 yards against him when he's spending a lot of time against these guys. He's got another really tough test this week against CeeDee Lamb, possibly his greatest test so far because he's another true number one like Garrett Wilson, but he's got a physical edge to his game and an ability after the catch that we haven't quite seen Christian Gonzalez face off against yet this season. Now, he has had some issues, Gonzalez. I want to be clear about that. He has not been perfect. He's missed a couple tackles here and there, although he's made far more than he's missed, and he has a lot of stops on his resume, especially on third down, because of that reliability. And he's generally someone you can rely on to make the tackle after the catch. But there were a couple times, especially against the Eagles, where he lost at the top of routes. Uh, we saw A.J. Brown kind of catch him with high pad level on an outbreaking route, turn into an explosive play, but Gonzo did make the tackle. And there was another curl route from Devontae Smith where Gonzalez kind of bit on a head fake and lost leverage inside and allowed a short catch to turn into a first down, but once again was able to mitigate the damage because he didn't lose too badly. So I don't want to make it seem like Christian Gonzalez has been flawless. You're in the NFL, you're playing cornerback, that's quite impossible. But for any player in the NFL, he's had an excellent first month. And for a rookie, it's not a lot more you can ask for. With the busy fall season already in swing, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Head to factormeals.com slash presspass50 and use code PRESSPASS50 to get 50% off. That's code PRESSPASS50 at factormeals.com slash PRESSPASS50 to get 50% off.